in my opinion, uh, modular synthesizers are all about uh, uh, modulations. Uh, the reason why you would like to have a modular synthesizer is because you can connect everything to everything and let everything modulate everything uh, if everything is also voltage controllable, of course. So uh, in this system, basically all functions uh, are voltage controlled. Mm -hmm. Only very few functions are not voltage controlled because they are really expensive or hard to voltage control or not possible to voltage control. So, uh, but all the rest is, uh, is voltage controlled. And to uh, uh, create all these modulations, of course, you need the modulation signal generators. And uh, there is uh, one module that contains uh, three low frequency voltage controlled oscillators. And uh, that is basically your primary source for uh, all sorts of uh, dynamics and movements uh, in the sound. Uh, this is the uh, uh, LFO uh, module. Uh, we have uh, three different types. Uh, now to use this I will patch in a uh, volume knob here so I can set the output level of the uh, LFOs. Uh, the first LFO uh, creates uh, outputs uh, a sine wave. Well, it's not really a sine wave. It's uh, it's almost a sine wave. If you uh, listen to it, uh, you'll hear a little bit of uh, odd harmonic distortion. Uh, it's a uh, some special kind of wave shaping that creates this waveform. And the idea to have this waveform is uh, because this waveform has no particular corners in its uh, waveform, so it's able to make very smooth modulations uh, uh, in contrast to like uh, a triangle oscillator which will have a corner at the top and the bottom where it sort of can create a bouncing effect. Uh, we do that with another LFO and uh, this one also has an interesting sort of uh, uh, frequency modulation like uh, there is already some internal normalization between the three LFOs here, so you can modul modulate each other. Like I can frequency modulate this one from the third LFO. Now you might think that, uh, well, hey, this rock is telling this is a low frequency oscillator, but I hear a high pitch. And that is because the range of this one goes like this, but the slowest range is this, and this really is an LFO signal. You can see from the LED here that now we only have a very slow varying signal. And basically it's a little bit inspired on the uh, third oscillator that you have on the AMS Sinti or AMS Putni, that also goes up to like say something like four or five kilohertz. Uh, so you can frequency modulate this one, but we also have another sort of modulation that works out a little bit differently and I called it fluctuation because it uh, modulates both frequency and amplitude at the same time. And you hear that it sounds differently from this. And actually the interesting thing is that you can find a point somewhere where you can only hear the amplitude modulation or go back. Okay. Now the question of course is why would you have this sort of combination of amplitude and frequency modulation. Now, for instance, if I listen to an oscillator, and I would use this signal to modulate uh, the pitch of the oscillator,
if I use only the frequency modulation here, you get this effect, but if you also use the amplitude modulation, you get a completely different kind of modulation. Once you have set sort of a modulation pattern that you like, uh, the oscillator is now only producing a sine wave and uh, you can now open the uh, harmonics knobs to add a little bit more of uh, all harmonics. And make it much brighter. Or you can Bind them into a really thin sound. And you can hear that you have a very fine control over the sort of timbre that you uh, can create uh, with it. Okay. Okay, so basically that is the uh, the uh, the first uh, LFO. So the idea is basically that you can sort of make a modulation that goes from really slow to deep into the audio range. The second uh, low frequency oscillator is uh, basically uh, inspired by uh, the one that you find on the uh, Korg uh, MS-20, but it goes a little bit further. Uh, what it does have is uh, it has a shape modulation of the triangle wave from a, a downsloping saw through a, si a triangle wave to an upsloping saw, and at the same time uh, uh, setting the pulse width of the pulse output, like now you have a sh very short pulse and now you have a very long pulse. Uh, but this one is also fully voltage controlled and it has uh, a hard sync mode and it has a, a, a hold mode. And in the hold mode it can you can just stop and start and stop the uh, LFO. <coughs> Uh, the triangle output that you can shape between an upsloping and a downsloping uh, sawtooth as well is a positive only signal. That means that you, it is very convenient to use it, uh, for instance, as a as a, an uh, LFO uh, envelope signal. Like if I now put this on the pitch modulation, you will hear that it will only sweep the pitch up. So, now if I want to use this for amplitude control, I put it into the VCA modulation input and...
basically we have a rudimentary envelope signal here. The speed goes from like several uh, a cycle that lasts several minutes up to something like 25 pulses uh, a second. What is interesting is uh, when you start to use uh, uh, sync. Uh, internally, it is already connected, normalized to the third uh, LFO, but of course you have a, a sync input here. And when you flip the switch to sync input, it will be. Reset by this and you can for instance use this uh, sync to uh, create a uh, swing. Hold mode uh, works best if you uh, can. I, I can then say best if I put it on pitch. What uh, that one does is if I put it in hold mode, whenever the input uh, gets a positive signal, it will just stop the LFO at a certain point and keep the output level steady and then when the uh, signal goes low again it will go on, cycle on from that level. And that's also normalized to the third one. Which is also funny if you do it very quick level. The third uh, uh, LFO is just a very plain and simple triangle uh, wave LFO and it also has the inverted triangle wave present as a second output. It's uh, voltage controllable and uh, it also is, uh, its range is also going from uh, uh, quite high to really, really, really slow, like a, a, a cycle taking 10 minutes or something. The funny thing is that because everything is normalized already internally to modulate each other, you can, uh, if you do not use the external modulation inputs with their uh, input attenuators, you can already let the uh, LFOs modulate each other. And then you can create uh, interesting drone kind of uh, effects. So let me just modulate three different parameters from the LFOs.
and it sort of goes into all sorts of crazy kind of chaotic regions. <laughs> <laughs> 